Today on Forbes, Elon Musk is now Trump's second biggest financial backer. Donates nearly $120 million to Super PAC. Billionaire Elon Musk gave another $43.6 million through October 16th to his America PAC that's helping to elect former President Donald Trump. This according to federal filings, as the Tesla CEO has now spent more than $118 million bankrolling the Super PAC while becoming one of Trump's most prominent supporters. Musk has now surpassed Miriam Adelson to become the second largest individual pro-Trump donor this election cycle, the New York Times notes after billionaire Timothy Mellon, who has given $150 million so far to aid the ex-president. The donations are to independent super PACs, not the Trump campaign itself. Musk gave $43.6 million to America PAC between October 1st and 16th, according to filings with the Federal Election Commission, which will be the last time the super PAC's donations are publicly reported before Election Day. That comes on top of $75 million Musk already gave America PAC through September 30th, and his money makes up nearly all of the $130.3 million the Super PAC has raised overall. America PAC has generated controversy in recent weeks for giving away $1 million each day to a randomly selected swing state voter who signed a petition on the group's website, a plan that was announced the Saturday after the deadline for this FEC filing, so it's possible Musk could have given more cash after October 16th to help fund the gambit. The Super PAC is reportedly largely responsible for the Trump campaign's ground game knocking on voters' doors, though reports suggest it's faced issues with its tech infrastructure that have allowed workers to claim they've knocked on voters' doors when they actually haven't. Musk has also personally supported Trump on the campaign trail, appearing with the ex-president at a campaign rally and headlining his own events in Pennsylvania in recent days. The New York Times reported last week that Musk is becoming, quote, more frenzied about his efforts to elect Trump and will continue campaigning for him through Election Day. He appeared alongside the ex-president at his campaign rally at Madison Square Garden this past weekend. Musk has also incorporated two companies, Group America LLC and United States of America Inc., that suggest he could be trying to establish a foothold in the political world more long-term, Forbes first reported. We don't know if Musk will face any legal consequences for his work with America PAC. Legal experts have broadly warned the group's plan paying $1 million to voters likely runs afoul of federal law, which prohibits anyone from offering money or other rewards to entice Americans to vote or register to vote. That could apply to America PAC's giveaways, experts suggest, because people are only eligible for the $1 million if they're registered voters in a swing state. The Justice Department reportedly sent a letter to America PAC warning its sweepstakes may violate federal law, which is punishable by a fine of up to $10,000 and or up to five years in prison. America PAC has not commented on the letter, but CNN notes the PAC did not name a winner of its daily $1 million giveaway on Wednesday after the DOJ's warning was first reported. However, the pro-Trump political group awarded two additional $1 million prizes to swing state voters the following night despite the Justice Department's warnings. On Monday, Philadelphia's district attorney, Larry Krasner, sued Musk and America PAC over the group's $1 million giveaway prizes. The Philadelphia DA, a progressive Democrat, sued Musk and America PAC in state court on behalf of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The giveaway awards $1 million each day to a randomly selected swing state voter who has signed a petition on the PAC's website. Nearly half of the giveaway's winners so far have been from Pennsylvania, the Philadelphia Inquirer notes. As of last week, Forbes estimated Musk's net worth at $269.8 billion, maintaining his status as the richest person in the world. For full coverage, check out Alison Durkee's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.